Hi, I'm Norman with AV Room Service. If you've ever wondered what's required to determine acoustic room treatments so that you can get the most out of your system and, and the best experience, this video is for you. Uh, I'm going to describe the six steps that are required to do that. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you two very valuable uh, pieces of advice. You've probably experienced going to the doctor because of some ailment. You explain to him or her what the problems are that you're experiencing and what your desired uh, outcome is. Then they, they run some tests to see what is out of whack and then they analyze those tests and look at the, the results and determine a diagnosis and what, will, what it will take to balance what is imbalanced. And then they're going to prescribe specific medicine and or actions to take to counter that, to, to make yourself better. Uh, and then finally, they're going to run some tests again to see if there's any adjustments that they need to, to make. This is the same process that we use to determine acoustic treatments in, in rooms. You can't simply guess because every room is unique in its uh, and its problems, and that's determined by its dimensions and its construction materials and methods and its furnishings, and not, not to mention various imposed limitations or constraints that might include decor or physical space or budgetary or, or time frame, etc. There are six steps to the process, um, the first being to understand the complaint and what the desired outcome uh, is and also the constraints, the limitations that might be imposed. And then the second is to run some tests and this is to test the, the acoustic characteristics of the room under the existing conditions. Primarily the focus is going to be on noise floor, room modes, first order reflections and the reverberation times. Um, then the, those test measurements will be analyzed and uh, analyzing of the, the measurements to see what stands out and what is unbalanced and what needs to be controlled and, and neutralized. And then fourth, modeling. Computer modeling is going to help determine what is needed to get from the existing conditions to the target or, or desired conditions and uh, what treatments, where and how much. And then the, the fifth is the prescription itself. This is the list of the treatments and how to apply them. And then the sixth step is to test again. And these are follow-up tests to see if there's any adjustments to be made to the prescription and, and, uh, um, and, confer and or confirm the, uh, the prescription. When we say room acoustics, we're referring to small listening rooms and, and the characteristics of noise control and sound quality, specifically how to achieve a high performance neutral um, room from the current conditions to the of the un, uh, of the uncontrolled to the desired. Primarily, we're talking about controlling noise, room modes, first order reflections, and reverberation times. We have other videos that will dig deeper into those topics, but this video is specifically about the process of addressing room acoustics. So for noise control, we've got four tools at hand. We can block the sound energy, we can break its path, we can absorb it, or we can isolate it. And for sound quality, we have three tools. We have reflection, absorption, and or diffusion. Note that different treatments will address different frequency ranges and at different uh, levels or, or amplitudes. So there's different panels to address these different uh, ranges and or uh, needs. Um, these tools, along with acoustical test instruments, are used to evaluate and control the sound energy. 
So there are targets for both noise control and sound quality in order to offer an optimal performance and, and neutrality of the room. The end goal is to make the room sonically disappear. Every room's unique and will require specific prescriptions of the right treatments in the right locations in the right quantities. There is no one size fits all or one prescription for rooms. So those are the steps. Do you need to take all six steps? Most people don't take any steps at all. In fact, most people don't even think about acoustics. You take all six steps if you want to do it right and if you want to confirm that you did. Note that there are now means where you can take measurements and send those measurements electronically to a sound, uh, an acoustic consultant. And that can be a, a money and time saver. And it's about 75% as good as an actual on-site visit. An on-site visit, you're going to have um, subjective evaluations uh, that you can't otherwise by an experienced listener and um, and uh, and gain a lot of other possible recommendations. Here are the two valuable pieces of advice that I promised. Number one, understand that electronic equipment can't overcome room acoustics. The room doesn't care how much you spent on your equipment. Mid-fi in a controlled room will beat state-of-the-art equipment in an uncontrolled room every time. And number two is to avoid um, over-the-counter advice. Seek an acoustical consultant that follows the process. As you now understand, it's not possible to prescribe room treatments in, with uh, ready-made acoustic panel kits or based on room dimensions alone. Nine times, nine times out of 10, such rooms end up just over absorbing the top half of the piano frequencies, keys, and not addressing the lower half of the piano at all. If you found this video beneficial, give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to dive deeper into audio and acoustics with me, then please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.